Hey my people, what's up? Today I'm gonna be doing a bold and blue makeup tutorial. This is gonna be very bold, very dramatic. Let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so I already went ahead and applied my face makeup as you can see. Now I'm just baking my under eye area and we're just gonna go straight into this eye look. First thing I took is my NYX Jumbo Pencil and this is in Milk. And I'm going to be basing my eyelids with this. We're going to be bringing this all the way up into the crease of our eyes. And then we're going to take a like eyeshadow brush and we're going to blend this out. Because if you leave it just like this, trust me, the eyeshadow, when you apply the eyeshadow, it will not look flawless at all on the lids. It will be creased and it will just look horrible. So... This is why blending it out with a brush after applying it is very important. So you just want to go ahead and blend that out evenly. So you have a smooth surface working with. And I did not speed this up, this portion of it, the video up. Because I wanted you guys to see exactly what I'm doing. So, you know, I'm just taking a little bit more time. Going a little bit slower and showing you guys what I'm doing. Alright. Now the next step is eyeshadow and I'm taking my Santee Galaxy 18 Mineral Formula and we're going in with that very light blue in between the other two blues. We're going in with that blue first and we're going to be using a like small angled flat eyeshadow brush to apply this shade and we're not going to go all the way in the inner turduct area but we're going on the inner eyelid. We're covering that portion with this shadow because we want to create a, a beautiful transition with the other blues that we will be applying afterwards. So we're just packing this on. We're not swiping it. And then we're going in with that blue below the light blue. And we're going to just add this um, more to the mid on the mid lid. And we're just packing it on with, you know, we're using a patting motion. So you get the most opaque appearance out of this eyeshadow as possible. And you see that beautiful transition that we get? That's what we want. Now after we've applied that blue, we're going, with, going in with the deepest blue of the three right there. And we're taking this on the very outer part of the lid. And we're going to be using the same patting motion to apply this and then I'm going in with my 28 smoky eyeshadow palette from BH Cosmetics and I'm taking that navy blue and we're going to be applying this in the outer crease of the eyes and we're going to be using a um, small angled like blending brush to apply this and if you if you guys um, notice how I'm doing this I'm kind of dragging that shade in a diagonal um, direction you know pulling it towards the inner part of my brows this is definitely the type of shape that we're going for and as we're going as we go along we want to blend this to the best of our ability because if you do not blend this properly guys it will not look good so afterwards I'm going into my Tamana palette from ABH and I'm using chocolate to add a nice transition because we could not leave that blue as is it would just it wouldn't look blended so we have a lot of blending to do right now so we're just I'm not gonna apply any more product to that brush I'm just gonna blend it right away and you see how everything kind of just had a better diffused appearance to it and that's definitely what we want <laughs> And now we're going in with the Victoria Jackson Shimmer Powder and this is in bronze. And we're taking this in the inner tear duct of the eye. And you want to take your time and apply this because you want it to, you know, kind of just bleed into the other shadows. So after I've applied this with that 
flat eyeshadow brush i'm gonna go back in with a pencil brush to further diffuse the edges as you're seeing here you know so everything appears more flawless and not too harsh all right and after we have finished that we're going on our lower waterline and i'm using la la color jumbo eye pencil and this is in pool party and this is a very pretty blue that i just decided to go ahead and you know just open up the eyes a little bit more with and we're just dragging it along the waterline and then i'm going in with my maybelline um gel eyeliner and this is in blackest black and i'm creating my um winged liner if you want a more detailed tutorial on how i create my wing liners um the link for that will be down below in my description box and as we go on the inner part of the eye we want this line to be very thin very thin so we have that nice graduation going on and then i'm going to take the very same liner and we're going on the lower lash line right below that blue that we added and we're creating a very thin dark line and then we're gonna drag it right um, below the shimmer powder that we added as well to give a nice little little lower wing uh, would you call it a wing i don't know a nice little line and then we're going to diffuse mostly the outer portion of this um, line that we created with that purple that I just showed you from the same smoky palette. We don't want it to be too smoked, but you know, give it a softer look. And I'm using 102s from Stardale. These are some dramatic lashes that I applied to just bring off this look, make it look even more dramatic and bold. And I love the, the lashes. They're amazing. And we're just going to make our cheekbones pop a little bit more by applying a little bit of banana powder um, below our contour line and we're gonna brush it out with, brush that away we're not gonna leave it like that and then we're going for really glowy skin so I use some of that Victoria Jackson shimmer powder on my cheeks just on my my cheekbones and I'm using that fan brush to just make everything diffuse and then we're going on top of that with some of my global glow from MAC and we're just packing that on all right so now we're done with the eyes we're done with the face we're gonna move on to the lips and as you can see I began with a dark brown liner it really doesn't matter it's not that serious which brown liner you use and then we're gonna fill that in with natural a natural this is natural from clean color it's a regular liner from clean color and we're just gonna go over the deep brown liner and everything with this I was contemplating about leaving the lips matte but but then I just opted for glossy lips I mean to me I really wanted to wear it both ways but hey uh, I just felt kind of like I just wanted to glow all over and added some gloss to the lips kind of gave me that effect so that's what I did I really hope you enjoy this and that's it guys this tutorial it's been a while that i've done something really dramatic and bold like this i just wanted to, to spruce up things a bit make everything a little bit more entertaining i mean i've been focusing on a lot of neutral glam since lately and i, I just kind of wanted to i, I kind of wanted to switch it up a little bit and make everything a little bit more vibrant as i mentioned before so i really hope this was entertaining to you guys i really hope you learned something from this and if you did go ahead and thumbs up this video and share it for the rest of the world to see i really appreciate that and it means a lot to me i mean a couple videos ago i was saying how i just hit 8,000 subscribers and now i have passed 9,005 and i'm in myself i'm like oh my gosh in such a short space of time i've gained that amount of subbies and i'm like i remember i told you guys help me to hit my milestone of 10,000 subbies and you guys are really supporting and I really appreciate that for all my new subbies and old subbies. I have to send you a big shout out. I'm so grateful for you guys' support. You don't even understand how much I am. 
doing YouTube is a true passion for me and I don't see myself stopping soon. I really don't because I enjoy making videos and since recently, if you guys have been following me, you would have known that I, 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 I began my, my vlog channel. It's something that has been highly requested by a lot of my subbies and me within myself, I kind of wanted to do it. Um, because in my first vlog I mentioned how I, I believe in creative memories, I love creating memories and I think doing vlogs would be a great way to do so, so and I watch a lot of vlogs, like I watch a lot of vlogs, like I watch more vlogs than I watch regular TV, so yeah, <laughs> so I'm really grateful and oh my gosh, the fact that you guys are supporting me so much, sharing my stuff, you know, for the rest of the world to see, it means a lot to me. For the fact that I soon hit that milestone of 10,000 subs, it means a lot to me. Because uh, in myself, I really want to do something for you guys when I do hit that milestone, so just help me reach there. And then of course, if that was my next milestone, I'm going to be 20,000, but when I reach that bridge there, we'll cross it. So yeah, for right now still 10,000 is the focus and guys, my nose are not going to stand up beside me. You guys have stood beside me from the beginning and the journey is still going on. I'm so happy. I am truly happy and truly appreciative and uh, as I said, I don't see myself stop doing videos anytime soon. So if you guys haven't subscribed to my vlog channel, the link for that is down below in my description box. I'll also attach it somewhere here on the screen so you can just easily go ahead and click that and check that out you know like them see what i'm about you know get to know me a little bit more that's basically what it's for um yes so just stay tuned as you know i upload here on my main channel every monday wednesday and friday so yeah and on my vlog channel i upload on a tuesday and thursday and a saturday if any one of those days shall pass and you don't see me upload a video though guys the case is probably that I'm very busy or I really didn't have anything to film. I, did, I wasn't inspired by anything. Yeah, that's probably the case. So I didn't see me upload or as I said, I'm very busy, which is a lot of the time. That's really the case. So, yeah. Thanks again. Really appreciate you guys' support. I know I said that like one million times, but I'm going to stop rambling now. So just stay tuned to see the end of this video for my little modeling section. <laughs> So yeah guys, that's it. Good God! That girl look clean right now. I ain't never seen nothing that clean. Little mama look like boys and bear pie. Look like rutabagas out of the mother. Ooh, I think she got them yams. You know how I feel about them yams now. And <laughs> hey, would you look at that right there? She done got her own ride. Mm -hmm. That girl independent. Oh my God, that's my type of shit right there. Matter of fact, hey yo Bobby. Let me tell the people a little something real quick. One, two, three. I love that woman. She is not shallow. She independent. Mercy and Lago. She ain't no fast girl. She own that Lambo. She get that money. Yeah, that's a model. Ladies, drop, drop, do that thing. Do, do that thing. Drop, drop, do that thing. If you guys are interested in getting your makeup done by me and would like to make a makeup appointment, you can go ahead and send me an email at petitedivinity at gmail.com. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. You can go ahead and check out my previous video right here. You can go ahead and click that link. Yes. Until next time, guys. I'm your girl, Petite Divinity. Stay beautiful and be happy.